So what is this big thing? I mean, if you just look at it, it looks like it might be a weirdly enormous computer disk. It is a weirdly enormous computer disk. This is a disk from the R1 computer. The R1 computer was born in 1956 when three Rice faculty members, Zevi Salzberg, John Kilpatrick, and Larry Biedenharn, decided that they needed a computer to continue their research. It was an important tool for, for a lot of the computation-oriented research that was going on here. Prior to the time that the R1, or the Rice Research Computer, uh, was on campus, there really wasn't a facility to do that kind of research. They needed a tool to do those computations, and at the time, the option didn't exist of going out and buying one. So in fact, what they had to do was design and build their own. It took up a tremendous amount of space. I walked on into Abercrombie up on the second floor and walked into a large room, which was the computer. I don't mean the computer was in the room, I mean the computer was the room. The panels got hot. It had to be air conditioned in there. They had to leave space in the middle um, for airflow to keep it to keep it from overheating. But very quickly, it, it evolved into into a, an actually useful computational tool and was in fact Rice's. It wasn't the first computer at Rice, but it very quickly became, you know, the main computer. It was the start of a long and very uh, productive association of computer technology, hardware and software with Rice University. I think we came after, after the Rice Research Computer to be known as a, a university that had an uh, outstanding program in both hardware and software design. And I think it's played a large role eventually in attracting some of the best faculty in uh, computer science and computer engineering to, to the university.